Sparta's political system differed from most of Greece's. One of its most distinctive features was that it was ruled by two kings. These kings belonged to two separate dynasties, the Europontids and the Aegeids, both of which were said to be descended from Heracles. Both kings shared equal powers, and disputes between them required the intervention of special magistrates known as ephors. However, if one of the kings were more charismatic or experienced, they could influence the weaker king's choices. Spartan kings had several responsibilities and functions. As lifetime magistrates, they were technically Sparta's priests and strategists and their duties encompassed everything from politics to justice. Originally, both kings would lead military campaigns in times of war. However, from 507 BCE onwards, only one of the two kings could be head of the army. On the battlefield, kings were accompanied by 300 elite soldiers for protection. But being a king wasn't only about working and fighting, they enjoyed special privileges as well. Spartan kings lived at the expense of the city, owned royal estates in the surrounding Perioikic cities, and received the majority of the spoils of war. When they passed away, they were buried with special honors, and the population mourned them for a period of ten days. The kings of Sparta enjoyed many important religious honors. They were in charge of sacrifices, both during military campaigns and at home. The kings received double portions of the meat at all communal meals, and they were also the first to pour libations. They also personally conducted public sacrifices as priests, which helped remind their subjects of their divine connection to Heracles and Zeus. The ephors, or overseers, were five magistrates elected by the Spartan assembly. They were chosen from among Spartan citizens over 30 and served for one year with no possibility of re-election. The ephors played a large part in administrating the city and were considered the most democratic agents in the Spartan political system. They had judicial power and ordered the dispatching of the Spartan army during wars. They also met and negotiated with representatives from other states, in addition to running the agoge, the Spartan education system. While not as powerful as the two kings, the ephors still held great sway over Sparta's affairs. The Gerousia was the Spartan Council of Elders. It was made up of the two current kings, as well as 28 elders called Gerontes. They were Spartan citizens over the age of 60, the cut-off age of military duty. They were elected for life by the Spartan assembly. The Gerousia, similar to Athens' Boule, handled legislative and financial matters. It could submit bills and motions to the assembly, and could also cancel assembly decisions with the power of veto. To ensure that the right of veto did not weaken the assembly, ephors were introduced to keep the Gerousia in check and maintain a steady balance of power. This allowed Sparta to include more just elements in its political system. The Spartan Assembly, or the Appella, was made up of Spartan citizens who were over 30 years old. Its exact meeting place remains unknown, but it was presided over by a special member of the ephors called the eponymous ephor. 
The appella had limited authority, since any decision it made could be overruled by the Gerousia. But thanks to the efforts of the ephors, it still played an important role in Spartan society. The appella dealt with topics like foreign affairs, war declarations, peace negotiations, and more. They also elected ephors and Gerousia members, and could both grant political rights to foreigners and remove them from Spartan citizens. Unlike the myriad sources on the functions of the Athenian assembly, the exact details of the appellate's decision-making process are unknown.